Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Happy Thursday to you and the weekend as well. I'm Weatherman Dustin Staples. Appreciate your company. And thanks so much for visiting us here on BTW21, Comcast Cable Channel 21, and our folks at Chat Mall's Cable as well. Very gloomy the start of the day. We've seen some breaks in the clouds with some sun and back to mostly to partly cloudy skies and overcast skies from time to time. Even we may end the day with some sunshine, maybe in some parts of the area, but again, most areas will most likely remain barely to mostly overcast this evening as we're not much the sun is out there. Of course, thanks to this pesky low pressure system, I've been telling you about this all week. It lingered, brought some heavy rain in some parts of the area. Even some parts saw their first thunderstorm. Uh, and of course, you were probably up late at night. And as you notice, it was a little warm too. And you're probably wondering, well, you saw some flashes of lightning in the sky. Of course, people call that heat lightning. That is actually a myth. We call that basically it's a distant thunderstorm within so many miles away. So again, if you call it heat lightning, I mean, I'm not going to really get on you. But I mean, you know, it's pretty interesting to see what we have this time of year when we get this uh a frontal setup with those warm weather days and again those humid afternoons and what happens a lot of that fuel is left over uh, throughout the night and uh, wouldn't have happened but that if there's enough energy left over that energy then kind of builds momentum and of course thankfully we didn't see a lot of those severe storms as we were expecting as a severe weather threat moved east out of our area so again you may see some cloud cover that's just the uh, science behind uh, uh, the uh, the lightning you see at nighttime during thunderstorms a lot of people see heat lightning most likely it is just a generated thunderstorm as well okay back to script here we got low to mid 60s well, again variably to mostly partly cloudy skies overnight lows will drop back down in the mid 50s again as you make your way out and about for your uh friday which we're going to begin to see uh, morning showers. We'll begin to see some rain showers possibly later uh, in the morning. That'll begin to continue to linger uh, till about the early afternoon hour. Some, and then maybe some areas will begin to see that drying uh, spell occur, which again would be very needed as uh, we need to sort of start to dry out now. We've had our fair share of rainfall at this point. And, uh, but again, it is April after all, and a lot of your flower gardens and flower beds are ecstatic to see the rain move through highs tomorrow low to mid 60s by late in the day it'll begin to get windy and it'll get cooler uh as we begin to see everywhere tomorrow we have some 40s we have some 50s we have low 60s everywhere so we have a mix of variety of uh, temperatures from the mountains to the piedmont region here in south side here along uh, the flat hills of the just to the south of the Blue Ridge Parkway, where we're located here. And again, uh, mostly concern is going to be that wind in the afternoon. It'll begin to get breezy in a hurry as this front of the end of the storm system, the cutoff low pressure, is finally moving out of our area. And that'll be some wonderful news. We can get a break in that rain. And then again, we'll begin to see uh, sunshine later in the day. So some areas may remain barely to partly cloudy in the afternoon, especially to our folks uh, long and west of the parkway. Just keep that in mind. Meanwhile, east of uh, Patrick County and uh, 57 and 220 uh, north, you should be okay. Uh, of course, it's a big weekend for a lot of things happening in our region. Of course, if you have any um, Easter egg hunts, maybe at some local churches or the Martinsville Speedway here is coming to town tomorrow. It's been here since tonight, of course, is the tonight at the start of the race on our Thursday. We have uh, another big race coming up here on your Friday. That is a, a good one coming out there. Be sure to come out maybe late in the day. Again, Ridgeway, you're kind of further east, so you may you mostly will see dry conditions as you make your way out and about this evening as our temperatures are going to be staying in the mid 60s there and again for the big race on saturday the blue emo pain relief 400 you're mostly going to see variably cloudy skies with the peaks of sunshine in the afternoon that'll lead to a mix of sun and clouds highs back in the 40s windy very breezy once again so if i were you if you're heading out to if you're camping out at the races or if you're heading to the races uh, i would advise you to bring a coat with you particularly at nighttime our lows are going to go back down in the 30s so it's going to be very chilly to say the least as you make your way out and about over the next several nights. So again, our visitors who are visiting out of town, welcome here as you're watching our races tonight on for Friday. And again, the big race 
keep in mind, every race is a nighttime race. So that is uh, a benefit of this too. So just keep that in mind. If you've not been to a nighttime race, please take advantage of it. Something I want to talk about real quickly is our pollen levels are going to be high. Thanks. Yes, we're going to have rain in the morning. But again, later in the day, as that wind is beginning to whip up, it's going to be blowing all that pollen and uh, mostly tree pollen, uh, elm, mel maple, oak, juniper, our main our bloomers this time around. So just keep that in mind as you're making your plans over the weekend. If you're heading out to the speedway, have your allergies uh, medications with you and your tissues and nasal spray uh, because the allergies are going to be high out there too. So other than that, it's going to be pretty um, uh, pollinated over the next several weeks as we are progressively going into the springtime season. And finally, your most important three-day outlook for those who are wondering what the rest of the week is going to look like. I got to give you, I gave you a sneak preview of Ridgeway, kind of get an idea. Some of our areas are about the same. Again, mid fifties here in the city of Martinsville and Henry County. L lining areas will be in the upper forties for parts of Patrick County, and low to mid fifties for Franklin and uh, Stewart, as well as Ferrum. Lows back near freezing, so definitely a hard freeze expected again this weekend for Palm Sunday. If you have any uh, church plants, remember. It's going to be chilly in the morning, but by the afternoon, we'll begin to see a gradual warm up near 60 degrees. Beautiful sunshine will begin today with cloud cover. Then we'll most likely see sunshine continue in the afternoon. Low still very chilly. Then we make a big rebound from 34 right to 74 for Monday. So uh, very big temperature roller coaster over the next several nights as our lows are going to go from the 40s to the 30s to the upper 20s back to the 30s and the 50s and our highs back in the 70s. Too. So it is a weather whiplash over the next several uh, 48 hours, I will say the least. By the time we get to Saturday and Sunday, things will start to calm back down. And then again, our nice warm weather is returning as we make our way. Start of the week of Easter that is coming up. So get your Easter candy and all your supplies you're going to need for any Easter, get, Easter egg gatherings you're planning on doing here over the next uh, week or two. And again, the weather looks like mostly calmer next week. Hopefully we can get through another week of uh, not talking about severe weather. And again, but this is prime time heating. We talk about that too. Something else I want to note, the Colorado State uh, Univer uh, put out their hurricane outlook forecast. We'll talk more about that on Monday and let you know how active the hurricane season will be as could we be active? Will we La Nina or El Nino pattern? I'll talk more about that on Monday for you, let you know how far we could get for our hurricanes returning for this summer again. So that's all the time I have for you. One more recap. We're going to begin to see that rain persist to overnight tonight. Early in the morning, and it turns breezy and mix of sun and clouds for both the weekend as well as those heading up to Martinsville Speedway. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you next week. Stay tuned. We have more great local programming next. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.